Sarcopenia is an age-related condition characterized by progressive and generalized loss of skeletal muscle mass and strength, with an associated decline in physical functional performance, and can contribute to physical disability, poor quality of life and death. Sarcopenia affects people as they age, but its features are similar to what is seen in younger people with conditions such as muscle disuse or malnutrition. Sarcopenia generally affects more women than men and is now considered a major health problem. Sarcopenia represents a combination of age-related muscle atrophy and loss of motor function. Muscle atrophy, which proceeds at about 1% per year after 30 years of age, appears to be related to lifestyle factors such as lack of physical activity, poor calorie and protein intake, in addition to a decline in anabolic hormones and an increase in inflammatory cytokines. Although atrophy was once thought to be largely responsible for reduced muscle strength, it is now acknowledged that reduced strength is caused by a multitude of factors. Changes affecting the connectivity of the central nervous system and skeletal muscle. For example, muscle fiber denervation and increased irregularity of motor unit firing appear to contribute to the declining muscle strength observed in people with sarcopenia. Other factors, such as a decline in blood flow to muscle with aging, may also affect several aspects of muscle performance. Clinical diagnosis of sarcopenia involves the assessment of physical performance, muscle mass and muscle strength. Physical performance can be tested using parameters such as gait speed or chair rise time. Muscle mass can be measured by several methods, including dual energy X-ray absorptiometry (DEXA), computed tomography (CT), or magnetic resonance imaging (MRI). Whilst muscle strength can be assessed using hand grip dynamometry. Current interventions such as physical activity and nutritional interventions are used to slow the progression of sarcopenia. Pharmacologic approaches such as targeting pro-anabolic and anti-catabolic processes and neuromuscular function are being investigated as potential treatments for sarcopenia. In addition, drugs currently approved for other indications may also prove beneficial. Owing to this worldwide increase in life expectancy, the prevalence and cost of sarcopenia are likely to rise. Therefore, developing strategies to prevent and treat sarcopenia are of great importance for maintaining mobility and preserving quality of life and independence in older adults.